Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> welcome back to my vlog, or welcome, if you haven't been there before. My name is Linda, I'm Norwegian, I'm a teacher, I live in Spain, I love to crochet, and this is my vlog. So, if you like to crochet, join me. This video, today's video, is actually already filmed, so... I am just making this intro because I forgot to make an intro. So you will see me completing two orders for two colleagues of mine, two summer tops. That's the main thing in this vlog or vlog. So sit back and enjoy and maybe you can crochet while watching. That's what I do when I watch other YouTubers uh, crochet. Well, when I sit down and crochet, I watch other YouTubers crochet. So, enjoy my video! On the road trip, and I am crocheting, of course, and for, for once I am in, in the back seat so I can crochet. Uh, my friend is driving, and now I'm going to combine these. I have six of them, and I'm going to combine them so I can put them on this side. Yeah, here we go! I have just gotten back from the road trip and I am exhausted. Uh, I was trying to crochet in the car. I didn't get much done. I uh, made three of these. So now I'm just out two and um, then I'll be sewing them together and no, I'll combining them. But it was a mess in the car. I should have brought another project that was much better like my knitting project because I have I made a I've uh, started a hat knitting a hat uh, this style where the tight uh, for the forehead for the head and then the big voluminous um, for the rest of the head so this is a much better project to bring for a car ride <laughs> but I just grabbed what I had what I'm making this thing um, and then now this is where I am. It's all tangled, so I have a big job ahead of me. But I have I brought two projects, so I also brought this this bag. I had them in two bags, and um, then I started here on the other project for uh, my other colleague. The order, I think this will be a good size. I'm not sure. I'll do a couple of more rounds and I'll bring it to school to measure it on her before I continue. Yeah. So I started this, but I made one round, that's all. And then I relaxed. I was so exhausted. We've been driving, uh, well, we've been away all day since 11 o'clock. And now it is 8 in the evening, more or less. So it's been a long day. To Ronda, we've been to Ronda, which is a um, beautiful town with a very special bridge. It's on the UNESCO list uh, of preservable um, cultural um, buildings. And then we went to Setanil, which is a very small village. You can you you can miss it if you don't know where to stop, and that is. There is there are caves inside. Uh, well, there are houses inside the cave. It, how can I say say that they they have the mountains are built are like this, and you can they have made houses under the under the mountains and inside the mountains. So they've been gr uh, shoveling and making caves or houses that are kind of kind of like caves so we went there and it was beautiful but then home is best tomorrow i have to relax just crocheting all the time <laughs> so i'll be uh untangling things untangling this making this making my yarn great again <laughs> and one thing happened in the car I had a little accident, not an accident, but I, I don't know what happened actually. Uh, but I was driving over a, uh, a rock, 
a big rock so it could have hurt my um, tire but that went okay but I when I was getting out of the car I kind of saw double what's this I don't know what this is and it was my glasses that one of the glasses had fall, fallen out so I couldn't see right and what well, what happened oh no but then it was broken here so I couldn't use them anymore so I had to get new ones because 1.5 I need them to see while to read I need more but I can't I can't be out of glasses because then I see everything blurry uh, so I need these well I'll just get on with it for me personally, I didn't find it too difficult to get in a routine of stretching, pretty much because I come from like a basketball background. I used to be a basketball player. I did it seven days a week since I was like six years old up until I was injured. And stretching was just part of the warm-up, cool-down routine I did. So it wasn't hard for me to develop. But I would suggest if you're someone who suffers from hand pain to try and get yourself into a routine of stretching. Well, I finished. All of the skeins are untangled. So that is great. But uh, I will not be using this today. I will wait. Something strange though. I made three in the car and these three I have. Well, the last one I have is here somewhere. Um, but I cannot find the others that I brought because I was trying to line them up and see how they would go together. I thought maybe I had put them together inside this, but I cannot find them. So I guess they have found they have uh, fallen out in the car because they're not in the bag. They're not in here. They're not here. They're not. I can't find them anywhere. So I'll just have to wait tomorrow until tomorrow. So now I am knitting instead. I will be knitting my hat. That's much easier, relaxing. It's late in the evening. I'm exhausted from the trip. And I don't have to think when I knit this. And I'm just relaxing here, watching some crochet videos online on YouTube. Yeah, I'm having a blast. <laughs> well, yeah. It doesn't feel rough, but I don't know. Nothing just compares to the hooks. So here is the difference in the hooks. This is how far I have got on the um, on the top for my friend, a colleague, and she tried it today. So it is enough with these six on each side. So now I will have to weave in all of these beige ends, and uh, then I will. Um, connect them crochet wise here and here and here and here and then I will make a border well so one more thing this will be kind of open for uh, the breast here uh, where is it yeah so I will here I will make half a um, square so it will be not be so revealing on the sides so that is just two half squares that I have to make, the F two triangles, and then I will be done with this one, well, <laughs> with the granny squares, and then connect them. And then I've also started this, uh, let me see here, yeah, I started this for my other colleague, that order at the top, let me see, here is how far I've gotten. This is what I'm doing, and I'm digging it, kind of. Doing a lot of different stitches, and the same colors as this one. So we'll see how it turns out. She also tried it maybe a bit wide, but I think it will be a, a good size. Maybe she wants it a bit smaller. Hmm. Well, we'll see. I will continue this anyhow. Look at the colors and the... The stitches, the pattern, it's really nice. Don't you agree? I have 
I've been working quite a while on this cardigan. No, cardigan, no, sweater, top. This top, this summer top for my colleague. I have now sewn all of these things, um, all of the panels on the side as well. Everything is connected. And I also made here half a granny square so that it covers the breast area on the side. And then now I just have to weave in all of these ends and then make a border around the whole thing. And then it will be done. Yeah. It's coming along quite well, so this is good. And I made quite a lot of progress on the other uh, top as well. I'm not sure how to connect it on top, but this is what I have got so far. Uh, until here, I crocheted it around, round and round. And then I have made this part um, in the front that is going slightly in inwards and i will be adding a ribbon here and there will also be ribbon ribbings or no ribbings ribbons ribbons straps kind of i don't know i'm not sure which kind of which quite kind of straps i want to uh, use but i want straps from here and to the back on the picture that my colleague gave me the straps went like this crossing in front here uh, i think that looked i don't know i don't think it will work good on this one because i got quite a lot of width here so it's better to have uh, the straps here and then cross them in the back and then i'm thinking about making this uh, back part not as high up as the front part maybe until here so that it will be a bit more down in the back so that is my progress on this. And then, as you can see, I'm now wearing my sweater. Not a single, not a single thread. All the ends are woven in. So today I've been using this for the first time and I'm happy. Uh, still I haven't, mm, I don't know if I'm going to make rib, ribbings. I don't think so. Uh, it is still very, uh, tight in, here in the in the bottom in the uh, on the waist but i think that i have to just have to leave it like that um so i will now be finishing this one and continuing this and we will see next time i show it to you maybe i'm done with one of them we will see now I have completed this top and here is this is what it looks like. I haven't blocked it yet. I will do that. And I think maybe it's a little bit too wide for her. So I have made something provisorically. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's a word in English. Um, so she can tie it in the back and um, take it in a bit if she wants to. And if that if she wants that, then I will be um, sewing them or fasten them here in this side uh, just a little strap so we will see what she thinks and uh, I'm quite happy with it. I'm really happy with this really really happy it's so cute it was a lot of work though so whew, it's not something I will do every week <laughs> but it's a good project it's uh, nice to uh, make these uh, granny squares but changing color every every uh, round uh, then you have to weave in and such that's quite a lot of work but halfway in into the granny squares I found out or I saw somebody making um, uh, doing something that you could um, weave it in in the in the corner and not having to um, weave them in in the end. So I was, you tie them and then you, um, you uh, crochet over them and then you just cut them in the end. So that was what I did for half of them or maybe not half, but the last 20 or so. How many squares are there? Let me see. There are four 
times 4, so 16, and 16 in the back, that's 32. And then 6 and 6, 12, 32 and 12, that's 44. And then these half, so 45. 45 squares is what it is. Yeah. Cutie. It's a cutie pie. <laughs> it's not 45. These also have four each. So 45 plus 8. Four and eight, yeah. 45 plus 8, so it's 53. 53, which is exactly the same as my birthday. I'm 53 today. <laughs> that was just a coincidence right now. So 53 squares on this uh, sweat, no, uh, this top. And I'm 53 years old today. Hip hooray for me. <laughs> I made quite a bit of progress on this top for my other colleague. I have now finished the main part, the front panel and the back panel. I have put on some straps just for now. Um, I'm going to make them thicker, of course. And here is what it will look like in the front. And they are connected down on the sides as well, because I will crochet them into onto here, but they will be wider. Uh, at least double crochet one time, but maybe two times. I, th I think one time. Just once. And then in the back, they will be crossed, the straps will be crossed and um, connect, connected here. I'm not sure if it will work out good. So I will have to, of course, I will have to measure it on my colleague tomorrow at work and see how it will be. These are also going down to the beginning. And of course, all of these ends I have to weave in, but I don't want to want to do that be uh, before I'm completely uh, satisfied and and um, um, sure that this is how it's going to be. Because maybe we find out that this this has to be narrow, or who knows, or maybe longer. We'll see. So this is that one. I t already told you that this is done. I just have to steam it. I said block it in the. Uh, last time that I spoke about it, but I'm steaming it. So here's the front and this is the back with the strap. Let's see if she wants the strap or not. And then I talked to my mother, showed her a picture about uh, of this, these colors, and she said that's okay, she would want, want it. So then I'm going to finish this as well. Or I'm going to continue it. On this video I will finish this top, but um, this one will take more time, I think. But at least these two will be done and delivered. I am almost done with this top. Here it is. It is a good length. It fits her perfectly on the body. Um, it's not narrow. It's, it's not loose, but it's very well fitted, actually. Uh, so I'm really proud that I have made this. I've now connected the straps in the front here and to the back. And in the back there is, it is, uh, oops, crossed, as you can see. Well, maybe you can or maybe can't. It's crossed. And then I've connected them here and I've made borders on both sides here and here and in the front of course on both side sides in the front it needed to it needed uh, borders because it was quite revealing on the side so it needed like two three more centimeters and this now it was perfect i tried it on it today without the straps though uh, but it seemed to be perfect so if the straps are a bit too long i don't think so i i measured the straps yesterday and the 40 centimeters was a good size um but maybe she t she pulled it up too high today so that it wasn't revealing here i'm not sure because i didn't measure the straps for her today that it was 40 from here and crossing on the back well i guess or i hope that it's it will work anyhow it is it will and also 
down here I have connected a little bit the both borders so that it's a bit narrower and I was thinking about making this round and I could have done it instead I made them going up from there so it's a bit kind of like a V it's okay as well but when I tried it on her today I saw that I could have made it round on the other side I just have to connect that part those three four centimeters and then this side will be done and then it's just about weaving in the ends the ends for the straps and the ends for all the rounds that I made up until I separated the two uh, panels because of course before I started the borders I had to weave in all the ends on the panels from where I separated them until up here so I love it I really really like these stitches and the colors me personally I'm not very fond of this green even though when I saw it together with the other skeins I thought it was beautiful but it's not my color it's kind of an apple color uh, but I think it w makes it, it works it really works actually uh, of course but for my taste I'm a bit insecure with the green, but I would wear it. If this was my size, I would wear it as well, of course. And the different stitches, the, the first part from the bottom until, well, I don't know, here or whatever, wherever, I was following a pattern, oh, a YouTube video, and I am not sure if I remember to write that on this video uh, or talk about it, but I will at least link down below the video where I uh, learned these stitches because um, if you want to learn them then you can of course I knew already the slip knot the single crochet double crochet half double crochet and the treble or triple crochet and the scallop but I had not used the scallop in this way that it was combined <clears throat> like scallop ab uh, above scallop that was a good thing to know to get to try out and um, I would also have liked to use more of these holy stitches with holes more more later but since this is a top uh, I would didn't want this part to be um, holy <laughs> holy not holy holy but <laughs> with a lot of holes because it would be revealing I think it would it's better on the stomach area so yeah really like it hope you like it too and um, yeah you will, will be seeing this when it's completely done that's for sure <laughs>
satisfied with how it's turning out because of my hook use that I changed the hook size but it's almost done and of course the sweater for my mother that would be the project also I would like to finish Oops. I would like to finish these there are two they are two sweaters but I haven't yet ordered the chalk white yarn so I have to wait I have to order that and that I guess it will take some time well we'll see maybe it will be this video if not it will be the next anyhow I hope you like this video and that you uh, want to see more if you do or if you like the video please please press like and uh, subscribe if you want to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.